All right, we know the international refugee crisis is capturing the realities of hundreds of thousands of uh, people having to flee their country and struggle with their own identity in a foreign country and a different culture. A joint Israeli-German uh, student documentary project addresses this very topic. Please welcome director Ron Golden and producer Christopher Albrot of uh, the name of it is National Identity in a Migrant Society. Welcome to the show. So, uh, first of all, tell us how this project, you know, came about and how, you know, you two collaborated and brought this kind of nation cooperation. Actually, it started when uh, our two schools, I'm from Bed Bell College mm -hmm. and uh, the IFS, the International Films, Film School, Film School yeah. in Cologne. Uh, did the project together. Uh, the main is main thing in this project is two German directors to come here to Israel and do documentaries about the refugees here, uh -huh. and two Israeli directors to go there and do uh, two films about the refugees there. That's interesting. How do you find that having you know not you know having that different perspective is a better way of telling the story? You know, for someone who's not living with that particular refugee situation. Yeah, I think it's a it's a very interesting approach because he came he came to Germany with a with a whole new perspective that that we don't have and mm -hmm. um, like with with open eyes and he sees things where we thought well that's just how it is you know but he thought well but that's interesting right we right it's so hard it. when you're too close to it to know what yeah. you know it's all either interesting or it's not you know you can't yeah. really we're biased so what was your experience you know like. You know, being there, and who were most of the refugees that you were able to get access to? Where were they from? So first of all, it was amazing because I'm coming for a different country, and it's like I'm trying to tell their story, but I'm from I'm a foreigner actually. Mm -hmm. So it was quite amazing to do it, uh, and most of the refugees was uh, from Syria, but also from Iraq. And what did you find? I mean, was now being there with the people? Is it as bad as it's being portrayed in the media, or are you finding that you know that the assimilation is easier than we all think. Uh, I think it's really, it's, it, you can't say it like clearly, it's like with the refugees, yeah, everything is cool with them because uh, for now, because they get, Germany gives them every, everything they need, mm -hmm. food, place to stay, and they teach them German and try to integrate Healthcare them. Healthcare also? Yes, everything mm -hmm. uh, they need. But I think there will be like, issues like small issues between the German and the um, refugees that will be much stronger in the future. Right. Were you able to sense, did you get a sense of there being, you know, on either side of feeling endangered in any way? I mean, or because people want to cast this population as being, you know, at risk or whatnot. I don't know the right word, but did you experience that at all? I think we experienced only one time that was a bit uh, uh, crazy situation in the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so tell us about it. Tell us about it. You want to tell them? Yes, you tell us. Um, it, I don't know if it's... Uh, <laughs> if it's relevant. Okay, it's so not... if, it's, if it's too long of a story, tell us, so for you to come here, you know, we have a big refugee crisis, asylum seekers, it's a very hot topic. You know, what was your perspective seeing seeing it? Because again, it's so close and charred, politically charged within to Israel. Here? Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I haven't. I have noticed it here. Like walking, walking the streets. I, 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 I can't really talk you don't about it. it. I, I don't know about right. the situation here. I can't. You can just crazy when you walk in uh, Germany, for for instance, in the small city in the the middle of the street, like the main street. You see a lot of Arabs. Uh, yeah. They walk together. But here, in Tel Aviv, I live in Tel Aviv. I know that most of the, they're walking in the street, everything freely. Right. But most and of them and everybody's dark and Middle Eastern. So yeah, it's like, so it's right. not very big change because. But most of them are in the south neighborhood of Tel Aviv. Right. And but in Germany, they are they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. That's really interesting. So, what is the goal of this joint project? What is it you're hoping to accomplish? I want to make. Uh, First of all, to under more understand the situation there, mm -hmm. and to try and give another perspective, uh, outsider perspective, uh, to this situation. Right. Yeah. And for you, is it you know? Are you finding that um, you know a lot of people within your community and in the film community are you know embracing your project? Um, I, I think so. Like the feedback we got so far was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't show the film yet in Germany. Um, yeah, we premiere in Germany in October. Oh, yeah. fantastic! So, so I I think, right, once it premieres, and more people will yeah. know. And all right, fantastic. Enjoy the rest of your stay in Tel Aviv. Thank you very much. All right. Meanwhile, a rare discovery under the Jerusalem's uh, city of David. Archaeologists dug up a one-centimeter clay amulet in a parking lot dating back a 